Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig with Flash Game University at flashgameu.com. And today's podcast is inspired by a question that I got. The uh, question was basically uh, being able to go ahead and start a sequence in an animation, say a walk of a character, um, but not have that sequence interrupted when the user continuously hits the arrow key or button that makes them start to walk. In other words, if you start to walk uh, triggered by, say, hitting the right arrow key, and then the user hits the right arrow key again. You don't want to start the animation sequence over. You want it to just continue as normal. So let's go ahead and take a look and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So in this movie here, uh, I've got a, the character from uh, one of the later chapters in the book from the platform game. And also, I've got a couple buttons. One to start walking, a start walk button and a stop walk button there. Uh, and the character, if we look into the movie clip there has a stop frame, basically stand frame, and has then a sequence, a walk sequence, you can see. And at the end of this walk sequence is a script that basically jumps back to here. So basically the character will walk and loop from he from there to there. You can see that in here from the, the end and then immediately when it gets to this blank frame, instead of showing the blank frame, we'll jump to this frame. So if I actually uh, run the movie right now, you see that the character just walks, go, actually goes through the uh, stand animation at the or stand frame at the beginning, and then goes to the walk and then back to the stand. What we're going to actually do then is we're going to control that a little bit better. We're going to go ahead up to the main scene, and we're going to write a script for that. So the first thing we want to do is uh, that movie clip is named Hero, so we're going to stop the hero. So when we add this in. We run it and the hero stops there in that first stand frame. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, hook some things up to these buttons. So the first button is uh, a start walk button. That's what I've called it. And we're going to add an event listener to it. I'm just going to do this uh, in the timeline rather than making an entire uh, class package um, just to show what we're doing here and not uh, to go any further than that. So we're going to call a function called start walk. And the start walk function, very simply, we have to accept the event. Very simply, we'll go ahead and basically just hero, go to, and play, and the walk frame, which will start the looping animation. Let's run that, and if I press the green button, there we go. Now here, let's take a look at the exact problem. If I hit this button again, the animation starts over again. So if I continuously hit it like that, over and over and over again, click, 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 you can see the character's not actually walking, but sort of stuttering on the very first frame there. We don't want that to happen. We want them to continue to walk. So let's go ahead and make things a little bit more complex. Let's go and create a variable called isWalking. Make it a Boolean. And set it to false. The character's not walking at the beginning here. Then we're going to go ahead and when we try to start a walk, we're going to see if uh, is walking, if it's already walking, we actually want to see if it's not walking. So exclamation point there for not. So if the arrow is not walking, then go to play walk, but then also set is walking to true. And now what will happen is when you run this movie, we click here, click again, nothing's going to happen because the character is already walking. Okay, great. It's exactly what we wanted. Let's wire up the stop button. And the stop button is going to set is walking equal to false and go to and stop for the hero to the first frame, which is the, uh, I believe it's just uh, called stop as the first frame. Let me check that in here. You know, I see that it's called stand actually. So we'll go ahead and change that to a stand. Now we go here, we click continuously, and it will not interrupt the walk sequence. Click here to stop. That's not quite working. Let's see, uh, uh, we forgot to wire up the button. This is called the stop walk button. And this will go to stop walk. And there, I'm going to stop. So now you can see how that works. 
basically there are a lot of different ways you can do it. Like for instance, I could have cheated here and gone ahead and just instead of checking uh, is walking, we could actually look to the current frame of the movie clip and seeing if it was past frame one. But what happens if it gets more complex? If there's a walk, if there's a jump, if there's a crawl, you know, you may want to actually instead of having is walking have some sort of character mode and set it to walk, call, crawl, whatever. And then when you click a button or use a key, check to see if it's already in that animation and not interrupt that animation if it is. That's basically the logic behind it. Uh, I'll post this up, of course. All this, the, the full resolution video podcast is at flashgameu.com. And also the example file is with that post at flashgameu.com. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig. Thank you.